And I, um, my research started probably when I was a baby eating some soil, and that's where it started. And I, um, as I went through my schooling, I, I was really interested in how things work and how this. I, I uh, looked at scenery around me, and I looked at rocks and mountains and the different colors of soils, and it really interested me. How does that work? Why do you get a certain soil that's brown and yellow? And uh, the slopes of mountains. So that's something we've been started. And as I um, studied, um, I got involved in research and I, I realized that's what I want to do. I want to further things and I want to more understand how things work. I want to, um, it, it, it starts in the morning and it ends in the evening. So you have to uh, constantly work on it and understanding a system. But not just understanding it, and understanding it how to, to help farmers and help, how to help a community. So I'm very much into trying to understand how things work so that you can better a system. So we, we have terms like uh, regeneration or conservation agriculture, for example. And this uh, regeneration means uh, not just bettering the system, but you have to or keep it. Uh, conservation means you, you conserve, you keep it the same. So regenerative means you have to better the system. So to do that, you need to research because you need to understand the basics of how soil works and how can you um, convince farmers how to how to improve it. Right. So I also believe that soil has these two words for soil, especially in English. If you look after soil, it's soil. If you don't look after, it becomes dirt. So you need the dirt to stay soil. And to do that, we research. So we check and make sure how can we improve the soil and that it fits whatever someone's doing. It. So it's not just farmer. Um, Former communities were also looking at environmental issues like uh, pollution. So if, if you've got a certain soil, why is it being polluted? What, what is people doing wrong in it? So you need to understand the, the, the basic, the science of the soil and understand how it works. So this for me is, I'm very passionate about it and I have quite a few students working on it. Um, we especially work on soil quality, soil health, soil carbon, emissions, global warming, things like that, see how we can Look at that small skin around the earth that you have to protect and uh, make sure that you can keep it for future generations and we don't uh, go down the drain. So yeah, so we, um, I, I work on that. We also work, I strongly believe in uh, interdisciplinary. Um, we work with not just interdisciplinary, but you also have multidisciplinary. So you have to bring the social side, understand why is a farmer doing it? What's the history behind it? What's the culture behind it? And then try to, yeah, it's all science. It's all, all science based. So yeah, I'm very <laughs> passionate. We've got quite a few students working on uh, carbon specifically, carbon emissions out of soil, how the organisms in soil. You know that if you have a handful of soil, there's more organisms in a handful of soil than people on Earth. Yeah. Yes. So if you start counting them, like those organisms, and you count them one, two, three, you'll probably be busy for three months. <laughs> so there's so many organisms in soil. And they are your laborers. And so for me, uh, I want to understand what are they doing and how can we use these laborers. They work for free. We just need to give them some food and make sure they are sheltered. Then they work for us. And so, um, yeah, that's what we work on, trying to see how to, to work in depth into the soil and get, get, it, get the system working. That's what I do. <laughs> 